Check this out. Did you know that the Twitter little bluebird is named Larry? It's got a name. Indeed. Co-founder Biz Stone named him after Larry Bird on his favorite team, the Boston Celtics. Nothing, nothing but the truth here, folks. You dumb right. In today's video, I have the best coffee shops in Baltimore. You can't move to Baltimore, relocate, or live in the Baltimore area without having to go to for a coffee shop. Forget Starbucks, please. Take in Baltimore's charm. Uh, meet me on the other side and I will get you absolutely bouncing. All right, let's bounce. Welcome back everyone. If we have not met, my name is Mark and it's an absolute pleasure to make your acquaintance. Over the last 10 years, the coffee scene in Charm City as we know Baltimore has been growing steadily. From tiny cafes to serious roasters, New shops are popping up all the time, and longtime stores remain giving Baltimore residents plenty of local options to replace those national chains. Mm. Uh, let's check out Baltimore's best coffee shops and stay to the end because that is where I'm going to reveal my go to. Born and raised here, I know my coffee. Boom, knew it. Tell us about it, please. First on the list is Bird in Hand Cafe and Bookstore, located in Charles Village, 11 East 33rd Street, not far from the old Memorial Stadium. This is an awesome cafe. It's nestled in an apartment building next to Johns Hopkins University. Bird in Hand offers a place to hang out with friends over matcha lattes, grab breakfast or lunch to go, or shop for something new to read. Owned by Emma Snyder of the Ivy Bookstore, you can browse the books at Bird in Hand in a wide range of categories like poetry, cooking, travel, and a lot more. Uh, look for the freshly made small batch pastries like Two Crabs Bakery Drop Biscuits. I love me some biscuits. Uh, they have seasonal flavors like strawberry lavender, and they even have delicious vegan donuts by Little Fig Bake Shop. My apologies, I know nothing about vegan donuts, this figure does not know that, so it is what it is. But check it out. Yes, absolutely. Number two on the list, and one of my favorite uh, coffee shops, The Bun Shop, located at 239 West Reed Street in Baltimore's Cultural District, Mount Vernon. And they also have a location in Towson. Uh, it has low lighting, dark wood furniture, uh, plants and glass cloches, and relaxing music. The Bun Shop can only be described as chill. The original location of Mount Vernon on Reed Street has been featured on, in a handful of TV shows, but don't go there for that reason. Go for the savory sweet buns, I love them, uh, empanadas, or the Vietnamese iced coffee. Feel free to hang out for a while and get caffeinated while you read a book, do some work, or just catch up with a friend or two. Uh, the big open space, which I love, works well for any activity. They have excellent loose tea selections, um, I love this place. When I'm in Baltimore and I'm showing houses to clients or catching up and meeting clients, I always insist on stopping by the bun shop on Reed Street. It's just, you know, I can grab my quick Americano and it just gives me that nostalgia feeling. I love the bun shop, but it's not my go-to. The third on the list is Dub Coat. Now look, you gotta understand, I am not an English major by any means and I've been known to butcher words and I got my Baltimore accent, so it's okay to last to laugh. I'm definitely going to butcher words. Dovecoat Cafe is located in Reservoir Hill, 2501 Madison Avenue, and Dovecoat uh, was an instant hit when it opened in a beautiful former neighborhood pharmacy space along Madison Avenue. Love that stretch. Beyond the house made flaky biscuits and top-notch lattes, the dirty chai supposedly is a must. Dovecoat offers an excellent selection of grocery items. There are not many places to shop around Reservoir Hill neighborhood and they serve the community. The cafe shop selection has everything from spices to bread to canned goods to condiments and wine. Uh, Doveco Cafe's motto, and I love this, community first, cafe second. They're making a difference, and the shop serves the community as a gathering place, hosting events like produce pop-ups, and they have an awesome upcoming annual Juneteenth celebration. There are also a few tables inside, and you'd like to sit and meet and catch up with a friend, do some work, and just relax. Check out Dovecoat. Reservoir Hill, very cool stretch there on Madison Avenue. Ah, if you have not heard this yet, I have an awesome free moving guide to help you stay organized through your next move. 
relocating, coming to Baltimore, moving in Baltimore. It's gonna help you stay organized and it's free. Check it out, click below, it's all yours. Free, moving guide. Number four on the list of best coffee shops in Baltimore, aha, is Pie Time. Located in Baltimore's backyard, Patterson Park. 3101 East Baltimore Street, Pie Time has been making lattes flavored with house-made maple brown syrup and selling scratch-made sweet and savory pies at two major city farmers markets for years. Uh, now they have a brick and mortar shop that opened back in 2021. Uh, they describe their pies as down-home sweet and progressive savory. And some fan favorites include the peach blueberry and the Indian butter chicken, not me. Um, each pair is affected perfectly rather with an espresso drink sipped in the shop or out the door. I know, uh, you know, we're talking about coffee, but pie time, their old fashioned apple pie will send you to the moon. Delicious. I love it. Oh my gosh. Check out pie time. I walked by this bakery every day when we had an office down at Fells Point and I always stared in the window at the people making the fresh pastries. Number five is Patango. Again, I might have butchered that name, my apologies. Patango Bakery and Cafe located in historic Fells Point, 903 South Ann Street, with house-made pastries like cruffins and chocolate croissants, freshly baked breads and coffee and espresso drinks made for, with Vigilante Coffee. Patango Cafe and Bakery is a longtime Fells Point favorite. The shop has a large indoor seating area, but when the weather is nice, Patango is one of the best places to sit outside along the historic cobblestone streets, meet up with friends visiting from out of town, and of course, have some really, really good coffee. Stay for lunch or enjoy the Capri salad, love that. Uh, my daughter Anna loves the avocado toast, or maybe a sandwich with their freshly sliced house prosciutto, love that, prosciutto. It's also dog friendly, and you see lots of locals hanging outside with their pooches because it's right up against the harbor. has incredible views of the Baltimore Harbor, and it is a very chill and quaint setting. Patango. Number six on the list is Vent Coffee Roasters, located in expansive Woodbury Collective, 1700 West 41st Street. Uh, you got to check out Woodbury Collective. Very cool. Vent Coffee feels like its own wonderful little coffee world. The cafe is a place that values human interaction and community above everything else. But yes, the coffee is very good too. Vent serves up house roasted coffee, bakes everything in house. Most items are vegan, but they do have alternatives for people like me. And you can also get nitro cans, cold brew concentrate, or build your own latte sold in 32 ounce fillable Glass bottles are to take home. With lots of seating inside and out, Ben is a nice quiet place to work for a little while uh, or grab and go. Uh, roaster and owner Sarah Walker has been a leader, leader in the Baltimore uh, coffee scene for many years. And her dedication to her craft is really quite impressive. Uh, be sure to note the vintage Corningware coffee cups that instantly invoke feelings of nostalgia. So, Vent Coffee. So you know what's up with the, the Union Collective. It's a curated assembly of independent owned Baltimore based businesses set under one roof and anchored by Union Craft Brewing. It's housed in well over 155,000 converted space, the former Sears warehouse. And the Union Collective has revitalized that entire industrial area into a vibrant manufacturing, retail, and community gathering space in Baltimore City. Vent Coffee is every bit a part of Hamden. Now, I know you've been waiting for it. As promised, my go-to is infamous Zeke's Coffee located in the heart of Hamilton, Laurelville, 4719 Hartford Road. Forever a farmer's market staple, Zeke's been around Baltimore for a very long time. Bags of Zeke's uh, house roasted beans are immediately recognizable to locals with Be More themed names like, you know, Telltale Dark, love that. Charm City Blend, Medium Even, love that too. They also offer uh, coffee bean subscriptions and their chocolate covered espresso beans are incredibly addictive. Uh, the Kid Friendly Hartford Road Cafe location is open for breakfast and lunch and dinner a longtime Hamilton neighborhood favorite. Grab a seat, try the cherry nitro bomb, the nitro cold brew dressed up with the cherry little syrup if you're into that, and a splash of half and half. You can also pick up local brewer Art Beers and Taharka Brothers Baltimore-based ice cream. 
love to Harker Brothers. Uh, it's all local. Make it a full day of shopping local. Take care of our local businesses. And if you haven't seen it yet, Fueled by Zeke stickers are everywhere around Beemore, around Charm City, around Baltimore. It's a wrap, people. Ha! Don't forget, my free moving guide is down below. It's all yours. I love you, Baltimore. I love you.